But it was wonderful until maybe 66 or 67 when the diggers arrived. Okay, so the diggers come from the Lower East Side, and they're big city guys, and they, they kind of co-opted the whole movement, and they were good with the media. And I see Peter Coyote talk about it, you know, and I said, well, you weren't here back then. I, I don't know when he got there, but the diggers was just a downer for me. And the whole movement, by the time the Summer of Love came, then the hard drugs came, and it kind of looked like everything collapsed. It really didn't collapse. It just disseminated. You know, the people picked up from Haight-Ashbury and went out and did all kinds of things which have had a fantastic effect in the world. So I, I just sort of think that that, that aspect of it, and then the, the diggers were more of this hipper-than-thou stuff. You know, what could be hipper than everything being free? You know, it should be free. And that kind of went too far. I've seen people that write about the Haight-Ashbury, often it's from a political kind of consciousness because maybe the guys who have a political bent have magazines that will publish them or something. But I, I, w I was just completely infatuated with many things, uh, including like the Monterey Pop Festival, which was to me, that was the real thing where Woodstock didn't seem to be, but the Monterey Pop Festival, it was like, it looked like a new world. I thought everything was going to change. I mean, I really thought that this is it. We're going to be kind to the planet. We're going to do things in everyone's interest and and we're going to uh, farm organically and we're going to have better politicians. And we're, you know, it didn't quite come about that way, but that was the hope back then. It was a wonderful few years.